bird, Mum. It's a guinea pig. Well, what's he doing here? He's resting. He's not feeling too well. Well, of course it's not well, Craig. It's fallen off its perch. <laughs> He's sick. I brought him home from the Labbott unit to keep an eye on him. Well, hold him tightly, Craig. We don't want him flying around the ceiling being a pig all over the carpet. <laughs> he might escape. Don't worry, Mum. He's a homing pig. <laughs> <laughs> very cute, isn't he? <laughs> What's his name? He hasn't got one. Oh, Craig, everyone should have a name. Oh, uh, all right. Um... Daffy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Craig. That's, that's Bugs the pig. <laughs> Call him Terry. He looks like a Terry. Terry? Hello, this Terry. One. There's a pretty boy there. Oh, hello, Terry. What's that? A camel. <laughs> Pigs might fly, boy. Not this one, Ted. He's sick. Quiet, woman. That's a rat. It is not a rat, Ted. It's a pig from New Guinea. <laughs> That'd be right. We give them their independence and they pay us in pigs. When were you in New Guinea? The big one, boy. 39, 45. Where else do you think I got my limp? Limp what? <laughs> you weren't wounded. I was. They didn't call me Tin Legs Bullpit for nothing. <laughs> but you were in the catering corps. That's right. I made my own legs out of beetroot tin. <laughs> well, where are your Tin Legs now? The Japs took them, so I couldn't escape. <laughs> but you've got your own legs. I wasn't going to tell the Japs that. I never got away. <laughs> Don't tell me you were tortured. Too right, boy, and proud of it. They couldn't make me talk. I suppose they had you in a sweat box as well. Too right, they did. They used to put me in there every time I was steaming the dim sims. That's where I met Alec Guinness. <laughs> Alec Guinness? Yeah, we built a bridge together on the River Kwai. <laughs> that bridge is in Thailand. Only one end of it. <laughs> My end was in New Guinea. <laughs> Who else do you think the Japs got there? Will Alec Guinness be at the reunion tonight, dear? What's this, a tin-legged bull artist reunion? <laughs> no, it's the Second Field Kitchen's annual a la carte called on blur prawn night. <laughs> and your father's going to provide the entertainment. Oh, not again. Yes, again. I'm a bloody fine entertainer, boy. They call me Ted Bullpit the Human Television. <laughs> if you're such a great entertainer, why do they always throw tomatoes at you? <laughs> well, what are you going to do this year? I don't know. <clears throat> could always do your magic act again, Ted. Quiet, Phil. Hey, what magic act? The first time that your father did the entertainment, he was L. Ted the Wonderful. Oh. Watch it, Phil. Pulled a rabbit out of his hat and it pooped all over him. <laughs> oh. And it bit his ears and clawed both the hairs off his chest. <laughs> Why? It was a ferret. <laughs> Why did you pull a ferret out of your hat? Because the man in the shop told me it was a rabbit. <laughs> What's that rat doing in my coffee table? Ted, it is not a rat. It's Terry the pig. Well, why can't Terry go out with the dogs? Because the dogs that eat him. <laughs> Life's full of disappointments. <laughs> now, I want that rat off my coffee table. Tables don't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> I think I'll get him a nice warm saucer of milk. You know, I think he's got a temperature. Well, stick him in the freezer. <laughs> Ted, I can't do that. It's full of chops. <laughs> Keep an eye on the rat, will you? I thought you said he was a pig. I was talking to Terry. <laughs> Hello, pig. Terry? Hey, what's the matter? Hey, here. you got bacon rash. <laughs> I better get you some ointment. ointment. Hey, Phil, Phil, come quickly. <laughs> what, what, what is it, Ted? What's the matter? I did a joke. Where? <laughs> Terry's got something strange happening to him. I think you better get some medicine. Very funny, Ted. <laughs> Might use that tonight. Why? Because I'm going to become a comic. Oh, which one, Ted? Mandrake or the Phantom? <laughs> no, Phil, I'm going to tell jokes. Oh, that's a very good idea, Ted. Why? 
Because I'm bloody funny, that's why. <laughs> you think I'm funny, don't you, Phil? Oh. <coughs> we? Oh. Oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yes, Professor. Oh, Greg, it's one of your teachers. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yes, he is a very clever boy, isn't he, Professor? Do, do you know that he was off the potty before he was three? <laughs> yes, yes, he's standing here with his saucer of milk. <laughs> Hello? No, I usually drink it out of a glass. <laughs> the sauce is for the guinea pig. What? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, whatever you say. Bye. You're not such a bad little piggy, are you, Terry, eh? Yeah, well, the professor just said that uh, Terry's got tremendous bacillus. What's that mean? It means we're under quarantine for 24 hours. <laughs> Bloody rat! <laughs> Caged man trapped in my own home. Did everything will be all right. You try and calm down. You'll calm down on the other side of your face when you turn into a boil and your arms drop off. <laughs> Here, read your sport. Oh, I don't want to. What good sport to a dying man? You get to the funeral quicker. <laughs> Ted, you're not going to die. I am. I've got plague. Dad, the plague has been extinct since you were a boy. About 400 years. <laughs> Listen, smart ass. a man knows when heaven's door's about to fall onto him. <sighs> you're mad. Craig Bulbit. I will not have you speaking to your father like that in front of my back. <laughs> I'll leave the room. Listen, boy, if my number's up, at least I'm going to die laughing. What, are you going to tickle yourself to death? <laughs> no, I'm going to do my stand-up comic act at the reunion tonight. We're under quarantine. You're not allowed out of the house. All right, I'll spray myself with Peebo. <laughs> What's the use? You don't know enough jokes to be a comedian. Of course I do. I know hundreds. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Tell us a joke then. All right, I will. What do they stuff dead parrots with? Give up? Spackle. <laughs> it's polyfiller. You stuff dead parrots with polyfiller. <laughs> Same thing. It's not. Polyfiller's funny. Spackle isn't. <laughs> Spackle's bloody funny. Many a night during the Depression, we used to sit around the lounge giggling in a tin of spackle. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Smarty, Polly Filly, you tell me a joke. Pickle me, Grandmother. I hear bells. I've died of plague. Front doorbell, Ted. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. It's the Grim Reaper. Oh, oh, that sad little man who trims the hedge. I'll just go and tell him that we're, we're quarantined. Maybe it's the RSL bugler come to play the last post. You do look a bit crook, Dad. I know, you get like that when you're dying. Yeah, but... Uh, come on, poke out your tongue. Hey? Oh. Mm, now, close one eye. Click your fingers. <coughs> now, say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing the rat plague test. <laughs> Look, boy, you may be able to play your smart-ass medical jokes on me, but I know enough about plague rats to shove one up your nose. <laughs> Who was that at the front door, Mum? Peter Potter is his name. Pots and pans are his game. Oh, not another door-to-door -door salesman. Yes, but he's not at the door now. Oh, good. He's in the lounge room. <laughs> right, I'll handle this. Hey, what are you doing here? Peter Potter's the name. Pots and pans are the game. What do you call a nun with a wooden leg? Hey, hop along, chastity. <laughs> Just a little 
don't uh, break the ice there. <laughs> We're not buying anything. Funny thing happened to me on the way to Wombat Crescent. I saw a lady with a baby. I said, that's a very small baby. She said, yes, I've only been married two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Want to buy some Teflon sauce, please? No. What about buying some for your daughter here? Oh, oh, uh... <laughs> I'm not his daughter. How much are they? Well, no, we're not buying anything, so piss off. <laughs> then you can't see. We're under quarantine. Well, seeing as no one's going anywhere, let's uh, talk saucepans. Phil, we can't afford to buy them. You can't afford? Huh? My family was so poor, my brother was made in Hong Kong. Boom, boom. <laughs> Listen, boy, when I was a boy, we were so poor, we had to rub two jugs together to make a cup of tea. Scrape, scrape. Ah, <laughs> pay that one. Very funny. <laughs> what do I say, Phil? I think you made a joke, Tim. I'm not surprised. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I guess that with a face like yours, you've got to be in comedy. <laughs> See, Phil? Told you. Ah, uh, what's going on? Is this the... Uh... Older brother, is it, Gally? No, no, this is Craig. G'day, Craig. Oh. Peter Potter's the name. Pots and pans are the game. What do you call a nun riding a penny farthing? I don't know what. Virgin on the ridiculous. <laughs> 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 okay, Craig, nice there. Now, listen, how about we see if these uh, fit your stab? Oh. How about we see if they fit your throat? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I love satire. <laughs> you know that uh, Tammy Fraser uses these saucepans? I'm not buying second-hand saucepans. <laughs> no, one's like these to turn milk into sour cream. How? She gets Malcolm to stare at the milk. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very funny bloke, Dad. Oh, I'm funnier than him. Oh, yeah. It's a pity you can't go to the reunion. You could have used some of his jokes in your routine. Way ahead of you, boy. The jokes are all locked up here. Mind like a mouse trap. Yeah, full of cheese. <laughs> Watch it, boy. <laughs> If that's another salesman, I'll blow him up. <coughs> Who is it? It's us! Can't be us, we're in here. <laughs> it's Greeter and Bruno us. Open the door. No. Come on, Dad! No, we've got the play. Go away. <laughs> I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> Don't you huff and puff on my door, Wog. The garlic will melt the varnish. <laughs> And now, this one, Phil. Uh, you don't mind if I call you Phil? Oh, of course not. Well, well, Phil, do you have gas or electricity? Well, I have both. Well, I suggest quick ease for the gas and for the electricity... <laughs> for the electricity, try dragging a chain behind you! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you do make me laugh. <laughs> Save the laughter till you see the price, oh. then. <laughs> hello, Mrs Beast. Hello, Mum. What's news? Oh, hello, Greta. Nothing much, dear. We've got the plague. How are you? <laughs> We're in already. No, well, well, no, no, no one is allowed. In or out. B because we're under quarantine. Craig brought some terrible disease home from the university. Shot of penicillin should fix that. No. <laughs> Peter Potter's the name. Pots and pans are the game. Why do seagulls have wings? Eh? To beat the Italians to the tip. <laughs> My name's Bruno Bertolucci. Oh, well, I, don't get me wrong, sport. I'm on the Italian side. I reckon they should have the wings. How are you going to go and talk to Grumble Bum? Uh, have they gone? Yeah. At least that's one less wog in the house. You're not meant to be here, Bruno. I know, I just heard. Looks like we're going to spend a cosy evening together, Teddles. I won't be here tonight. It'll take more than rat plague to keep Ted Giggle's bull pit off stage. <laughs> Giggle's bull pit? Listen, Spaghetti Head, I make Paul Hogan look like James Dibble. <laughs> OK, then. Give us a joke. All right, I will. What do you call a nun on a two-cent piece? Nah, hang on, Dad. It's what do you call a nun on a penny farthing? No, I've updated it. Come on, come on. <laughs> what do you call a nun on a two-cent piece? All right, I'll give in. Tell us. Stupid! <laughs> Look, Dad, if you're going to use Peter Potter's jokes, at least write them down so you get them right. Well, I can't. He talks too fast. Ted, Peter says I've got him over a barrel. For $300, I can get six saucepans. $300? For that much Teflon, you could keep the tourists off Ayers Rock. 
They're guaranteed for 12 weeks or 12,000 meals, whichever comes first. No, I'm not buying any pans. You get a free sandwich maker. They're not cheap, Mrs B. I know, Bruno. I mean, the knife must be at least a dollar, and who knows what the plate would be worth. <laughs> no. Ted, Peter says that if you buy them, he'll give you this. What is it? A thousand and one jokes for all occasions. Don't just stand there, woman. Get my checkbook. <laughs> I don't understand. What don't you understand, Dad? Well, it says here, a man caught a fish so big he needed a mountain climber to scale it. <laughs> it's a joke, Dad. Must have been a whale. <laughs> Give us another one, Bob Hopeless. <laughs> All right. Next joke. There are two flies playing soccer in a saucer. One fly says to the other, we'll have to do better than this. We're playing in the cup next week. Well, that's a funny one, Dad. No, it's not. Flies can't talk. <laughs> I don't think you quite get it. Me? They missed the old joke. It's a flying saucer. Ha! <laughs> Look, Dad, forget it. You're not allowed out of the house. I'm going. You're, You're not. not. Am. Not! Not! All right, if I can't go to the club, I'll do my act here, just for you. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Ready, Ted? Nearly. I lost the page. Oh. All right, I'll go and do the warm-up. Just give me a few tips, right? right yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Funny thing happened to me on the way to Wombat Crescent tonight. I saw a drunk driving the wrong way up a one-way street. A policeman pulled him over and said, where do you think you're going? The drunk said, I don't know, but I must be late, because everyone's coming home. <laughs> We want ball pit. Yeah, we want giggles. So then the, the co cop pulls him over and he says to the drunk, do you know this is a one-way street? The drunk says, I'm only going one way. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we want dad. So the cop says, did you see the arrows? The drunk said, I haven't seen the Indians yet. <laughs> <laughs> ball pit. Ball pit. I've been called worse, been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more. The cop says to the drunk, here, blowing this bag. The drunk says, why? The cop says, because my chips are too hot. Ha, <laughs> 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 oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the man you've all been waiting for, the one, the only, Ted Giggles Bullpen. <laughs> thank you. Um, first joke. Bloody phone! <laughs> Answer the phone, woman. Oh, oh, oh you bloody fuck. <laughs> oh, hello? Yes. Oh, oh. Oh, that is good news. <laughs> Bye. Ted, Ted, that was the uni. Terry's disease was a mistake. We're all out of quarantine. Oh. Oh. You mean I can go to the reunion tonight? Yes. Pickle me, Grandmother, I'm going to be a star. Quick, call me a taxi. You're, You're a taxi! You nervous, Ted? Oh, Phil, I'm always nervous before a show. Do you want another wee? I've already had ten. The zipper's, the zipper's claiming penalty rates for overtime. You go out there and you give them everything you've got, both jokes. I've got more than two jokes, I have hundreds. Of course you have. Dear. Just make sure you tell both of them properly. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. And now, folks, uh, they're still sober enough to do so. Put your hands together for our star, Giggle and Ted Bullpits. Me on the way here tonight. I was uh, oh, Phil. <laughs> the one way drunk. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> there was a, a, a drunk going up a one way street, and the cop arrests him and he says, Who are you? Uh, and the drunk says, I didn't even see the arrows. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, next, ne next joke, next joke. And the policeman said, uh, Well, now blow into this bag because the chips are hot. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> uh, 
What, what, why? Now, next joke. Uh, why do bees uh, sing? Okay, no. no. What? Why do bees hum? It's the same thing, no, Phil. No, no, it's okay. Be, be, bees hum because they don't know the words. Oh, <laughs> why do bees sing? <laughs> All right, why do bees hum then? <laughs> because they can't sing. <laughs> right, now I'll do my impressions. <laughs> Uh, the first impression. Who's this? Uh, you dirty rat, you dirty rat. Answer, Minnie Mouse. Uh, second, second, uh, second impression. I'll get it right in a minute, Phil. Right, uh, next impression. Play it again, Sam. Play it again. Answer, Humphrey Bogart. No, no, no. Here's another one. You want to hear another one? No way, boss. No way, boss. Answer, Sam. Oh, no way. <laughs> and, and, and you'll like this one. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, answer, Bob Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> if I do it lying down, it's Bob Menzies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, now, more impressions later. Meantime, here's another joke. Uh, oh, uh, no. oh, gee. Uh, uh, Phil, Phil, Phil. What page is that joke about the ugly mother-in-law? It's one. Oh, yes, that's right. Yes, I'll be right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I keep a picture of my mother-in-law on the mantelpiece. Do I hear you ask why? Oh. Answer, to keep the kids away from the fire. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I wish I'd been in the front row instead of at the back of the hall. I thought you said it was terrible. It was, but my tomatoes couldn't reach the stage from back there. <laughs> Here he comes now. Here he is, the poor man's Norman Gunston. How'd it go, Dad? Oh, wonderful. Jeez, I was good. Where's Mum? Uh, out in the taxi. Go and get her. Uh. <laughs> Killed him, did you, Tettles? <laughs> oh, did I ever? Got six encores. Yeah, and you would have had more if they hadn't run out of things to throw at you. <laughs> Don't tell me they want you back next year, right? Next year? They want me back next week. Hello, Groove. Hello, Bruno. Still going to show your face after tonight, Mrs B? <sighs> of course I am, Bruno. I thought it was a very successful evening. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right, Phil. Why's that, Mum? Well, look for yourself. I've got a whole... <laughs> 